It's not hard to do a show, you know? It's hard to cancel a show. I'm working hard every day, but I have to admit, it's been a struggle. The new documentary, I Am Celine Dion, is giving us a raw and honest look behind the scenes at the iconic Canadian superstar's battle with a life-altering illness. And Morgan Hoffman recently in New York City for a special screening of this inspiring doc, and she sat down with the film's director and Academy Award nominee, Irene Taylor. You know, I had all these questions about serious things, but something that really stood out was how many times I also laughed and I wasn't expecting to laugh. And I think so much of that, we were almost relieved that Celine could make fun of herself or that she really showed off her unique style of humor. Did that surprise you? I'd never been to a concert. I purposely did not read about Celine. Once I knew that we were gonna make the film together, mm -hmm. I didn't go and like research her. I got the basics. I had a, a Parisian French producer and I had a Canadian French editor. And they, <laughs> they sort of knew the DNA of Celine in French speaking culture in our world, right? And they were like, look, you gotta back off. The Canadians, like they, they, they own her. And it's so I, I was told very early, <laughs> don't mess with them. You know what I mean? Don't it's mess true. with we're that. We're very protective. <laughs> yeah. You said you were very thankful that you were given the time and the freedom to create this very special relationship with Celine Dion. Where do you even begin developing a trust in the way that you had to for a film like this? The first time we met was virtually, and we talked for probably two hours. Um, and that went a long way. You know, I think that initial conversation told us a lot of what we needed to know. But I was in my office, and my office is like lots of windows, a forest outside in Portland, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And she kept asking me, where is that wood from? Tell me about that table. She was like totally sizing up my back, you know, my life, right? And but it's funny because it gave us these little things to talk about. And then we realized, like, oh, we're both moms. We both have several sons. We both, you know, love trees. We love wooden furniture. Like just little things, you know. So um, I think that helped because once I kind of crossed the threshold into her home, I think she had already decided at that point, if you're coming in my home. I'm gonna show up in my pajamas, yeah. or I'm gonna show up in my press slacks and my press shirt, looking neat, but I'm not gonna put on makeup for you, Irene. And so th that right away, that was day one, right away told me she was ready. You can really tell that this is a love letter to her fans. You know, you can see in the documentary the pressure she puts on herself to be back on that stage for her fans, to hit those high notes for her fans. Do you think she was able to have moments of, of self-compassion for what she was going through every day? Or do you think so much of the focus was for her fans? I do want to say I was surprised yeah. by how much she worries about her fans. Yes. And it's not, do I get a thumbs up? Do they like me? It was more like, they've given me so much. So it's, it's almost like she has these anonymous friendships mm -hmm. with people. It was very hard, I think, for her to have compassion for herself because she felt like she was whining. Aww. She felt like, I'm just complaining and no one knows what's wrong with me. For her to experience a medical episode with my camera running was ultimately kind of a gift from the universe for all of us because I think it's going to help people with stiff person syndrome. It's going to help Celine feel validated. Mm -hmm. It is going to help people understand she really did cancel that show because she couldn't perform. Like, it was just that simple. Like, she still feels bad about those things. I know. It's, I, I, I picked up on that. Well, you talk about that scene. I, can, listen, I know how difficult it was for me to watch. I can only imagine what it was like for you to go through that. What goes through your mind when you're continuing to roll the cameras? What was going through your mind during that time? Um, sometimes doc filmmakers get a bad rap for just sh filming too many things, being too invasive, you know, just um, as if we have this like paparazzi component to our intent. But in my case, like, I am not going to apologize 
for rolling the camera. That is why I'm there. And I think Celine, she's a professional. She understood. I, w I didn't meet her as a friend. I met her as a professional making a film. You just have to decide how much of your authentic self you want to give me. Because if you're going to give it to me, the camera's going to be rolling, and I promise you, we will make an authentic film about you. It was very powerful. Uh, all the Canadians I'm with, we just, we can't stop talking about it. So congratulations. Mm. Well, it's, it I, I hope I passed the Canada test. Oh, you did. <laughs> And I am Celine Dion. It's available to stream on Amazon Prime next year.